Hello and welcome to the Rock River Valley Traction Company. Today we're going to discuss the loop that is on the west end of the line. I receive a fair amount of questions about this, so we'll talk about it. Give you guys a little tour and show you the history of how this came about. Originally this area was the end of the line. It was just a uh, single ended out here. Uh, there was a pole down there uh, on the other side of the turntable and that was the end. You stopped there, turned the pole around and backed up uh, all the way back to the other end of the line. About 2004 or five, we added this turntable. Uh, there's some videos of this, I know, uh, some old videos of us using this turntable. And uh, this was all hand dug, and it's made out of C-channel. And the runway is wood planks, and the pivot is a trailer axle. It works fine not powered, Armstrong powered. Now, after we put this turntable in, we decided that maybe we could extend the line uh, a little bit farther down. So it was extended about another 150 feet, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, after 2016, I kind of resurveyed the area out here and determined that it didn't need to be single-ended, that there was room for a loop track. And so that is when the construction began. And I'll just show you where it goes. This area here, I added this switch a couple years ago. This is used to load and unload equipment uh, from a trailer if we need to do that. So the track just dead ends right here. There's a road. And uh, I've got this piece of uh, panel track that I throw on to the end of this. It's got uh, slip joints in it and that piece of panel track mates up and allows the track to curve out to the road to get to the trailer. Uh, right now this siding is just used for storing a flat car that's got a diamond on it. Love to find a place to put that out here. So continuing on uh, with the loop, we come around here At this point, the ground starts to drop off pretty quick. It's a pretty steep drop. As you can see here. The track continues around here. And now we're back to the turntable. Now after we put that turntable in, I think it was around 2004 or 5 we put that in, we decided to extend the line and it used to go, instead of curving here, it used to kind of go straight out. And I'll show you the original line which you can see I know there's some videos of us running over this part of the line. It's 
So the track was down here. You can see these uh, ties. These were the supports for the original main line that came out here. And there's still some remnants of the bridge. Uh, a huge tree came and fell on that bridge, or what was left of that bridge, after I took the track out. So I guess it's a good thing that I moved it. But uh, the line used to continue out uh, another 50 feet past the bridge, and then it stopped there. So this section really didn't add much track. Uh, the bridge was, well, as you can see, not very well constructed. And uh, it was decided to remove it in favor of this loop. And this has greatly enhanced the operation out here. Now you can make a single end-to-end uh, -end run without ever having to get out of the equipment. So that's the loop track. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.